not to blame It's not my fault for being lame Punk Rock Chef, and I'm super stoked about this night's Woo! show. And we're, using, uh, yeah. Woo! we're using a meat that's very near and dear oh. to my heart. Mm. We're, tonight we're cooking Tots with baby. bacon. Yeah! Yes! Uh, tonight we're going to be making a turkey sandwich with uh, some bacon twist in there. Doing the Robe is going to be making a deep fried chicken Very sandwich good. with a bacon twist in there. Uh, we're going to be making a wild mushroom soup with a bacon twist in there. It's bacon, bacon, bacon. We got two pounds of bacon cooked off. We saved all the pork fat. So while these guys are in here chilling, having a good time, drinking some points, I'm going to get in the kitchen and start busting sh**. Oh. 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 Should we put a stuff in there? So we are in the kitchen. It's bacon night, and I'm super stoked, man. We got the dune robe. Dune robe, how you doing tonight, man? Don't let me hang you, baby. Oh, yeah. We got some bacon. All right. So first off, we're going to get the dune robe, get him some tea going. And then we're going to start making a mayonnaise. Uh, a lot of you, if you want, you don't have to make your own mayonnaise when we're making this, this uh, bacon pepper infused mayonnaise and an avocado mayonnaise. Uh, we're going to divide up what mayonnaise we make and we're going to split it between us and uh, make our, our separate thingies. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make our own. But if you want, you can go ahead and use normal mayonnaise and just mix the stuff in with it and let it sit like overnight in your fridge and the flavors will infuse together pretty well. So first off, we got a couple eggs in there, like five eggs, just the yolks in there. We're putting in some double ground mustard seed, and it works as an emulsifier. So we're whisking that up, adding oil now. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil, any kind of oil pretty much of those two, and add it slowly. Now hold on to that for the dude. Just keep whisking and add the oil slowly, that's the key, otherwise it's going to break on you and get all nasty. Some of the other things we're going to be doing tonight is uh, I'm going to be making a turkey sandwich with a pepper bacon mayo, as I said before, and it's going to be on some sourdough. we got some sourdough here, and we got some tomatoes, and we got a red onion. I'm going to be roasting this red onion off. It's going to unlock some of the sweetness and kind of give it a real nice, dark, rich flavor to it. Putting that on the sandwich, we got some cheddar cheese already shredded up to put on there. Um, we're going to be heating up the turkey, and it's just going to be a phenomenal sandwich. We're going to cut up in a bunch of little pieces uh, so we can serve a lot of people. And the dude the robe is going to be making a deep fried chicken sandwich. All right, keep going. Woo! And uh, we're going to be uh, crusting that with some breadcrumbs and some bacon bits. We uh, cooked off some bacon, and then we cooked off some more bacon. Oh yeah, we got two pounds, man. Now what we're doing is we're adding some lime juice. Uh, traditionally, you're going to want to add lemon juice to this. Probably just about uh, a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more, and then. Uh, that's gonna work just to give it a little acidity to it, some nice flavor. It's gonna add a little bit more, and the lime juice really works well with what we're doing. It's gonna work well with his avocado mayonnaise, and I think it's gonna work really nice with my uh, bacon pepper. It's gonna give it kind of a, uh, just a little kick to it. Add some olive oil to it now for some flavor. Whiskin, whiskin, whiskin. Adding a little water to it. Just a splash. Some of the things we've already got prepped over here too. Well, doing the was going on the mayonnaise. So we got some mushrooms cut up. We've got button mushrooms, which I'm sure you've all seen, just the run-of-the-mill mushrooms you can share on your pizzas and whatnot. And we got some shiitakes. Cut up in there, and we got portobello caps. We got, I think, about four portobello caps in there, four or five. And a uh, little trick is you want to remove the stem. And I uh, go ahead and remove the stem at the store. When you weigh these suckers out, it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you. Good way to rip off the man. We got kind of, <laughs> we got kind of a rough cut going here. Uh, just so they're in smaller pieces, so they're going to cook down nice. 
put these in the bowl. And we've got like a half pound of shiitakes and we've got like a half pound of buttons. So we've got a lot of mushrooms going on. It's real good. Adding some salt to flavor in the mayonnaise. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why is this mayonnaise yellow, Punk Rock Chef? Well, kids, the reason why it's yellow is because it's homemade and it's going to be tasty. It's none of that bleaching crap that you're going to get in the stores. We've got some pepper going on there, some flavor. I'm going to be adding a lot more pepper to mine. We're going to divide the mayo up. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to set this aside for a little while, just let it sit for a second. And the do the robe is going to get started on the soup, the mushroom soup. And we're going to want to add, we've got a big pot for it. We're going to add bacon fat to saute these onions. In the latter shows, I talked about a mirepoix, which was actually the onion, the celery, and the carrot, the kind of trinity of making soups. Well, tonight we're eliminating the two celery and the carrot, and we're just going to be adding onion to this. So the bacon fat that we saved from cooking off the uh, bacon, adding that to the pan. Just get it so it's good and coat in the bottom. Oh man, this is going to add such a great flavor. And we got one whole onion, like a large yellow white onion, whatever your preference is. You don't have to add it all if you don't think so or whatnot. It's all cool. Turn on the stizzo, yizzo. Oh uh, yeah. Excellent. While the doing the robe has got the onion sweating, uh, I'm going to start working on my sandwich and he's going to start working on his mayonnaise. He's got an avocado here and when you're going to get an avocado, if it's not ripe enough, you're going to be able to tell it's ripe, excuse me guy, because it's nice and squishy like this. You know, not super like gushy, but like you can still get some firmness to it, but it's going to it's gonna move with your thumb. And when they're not moving at all, you're going to want to set them out on your counter for like two days and they'll ripen a little bit better. Um, just at room temperature, it's cool. You don't have to throw them in your fridge. There you go, man. Sorry about crossing your imagination there. Throwing some peel off. I'm going to start uh, up on this onion. And he's going to be adding this into his mayo. Mashing, 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 whisking, whisking, whisking. Tonight, one of my goals was uh, to show you that you, you don't have to just uh, apply bacon to like breakfast, you know. Granite bacon is one of my favorite breakfast foods ever. I, I'd love to have a good half pound of bacon sit next to my omelet with bacon in it, maybe with a side of bacon on that. And uh, but we're gonna show you, we're showing you like the soup that's going on. We're using the bacon fat. We're showing you can use everything about the bacon. Um, it, we had another menu planned out, but due to time and uh, lack of tape on our film, uh, we had to uh, cut that one down. But maybe we can uh, incorporate that into another show. Because uh, we're going to try and incorporate as much bacon in our show as, much as possible. Uh, tonight we're using Nooski's Bacon. Uh, it's up by Anigo. It's this amazing, amazing like family-owned farm that just uses their own pigs and whatnot. Uh, we even got a person who hasn't eaten pork in four years to have a piece of bacon tonight. And uh, man, he just had the most orgasmic expression on his face. It was a beautiful thing. So here at the Punk Rock Chef, we're changing lives. Excellent. Got the onion stirring, just trying to sweat those guys up. And after these guys sweat a little bit, we're going to add garlic to them. Steal some of the dude's olive oil. He's adding a lot more lime juice to his because he wants that crazy flavor, texture. If you have a big spout on your olive oil, what you can do is you can take your two fingers, cover the top like that, and you can get a smaller controlled drizzle like that. Excellent spinners. We are
All right, what to do with the robe now is doing is throwing the garlic into the sweater onions. You see, we got that opaque, kind of translucent, almost uh, onion thing going on. Stirring in the garlic. I'm going to be adding some salt to the top of my onions here. Drop these guys in the oven. Soon to do the rope. Got the oven at a little under 400 degrees. Cool. Um, all right. I'm gonna start working on my mayonnaise now. I'm gonna take some bacon. We uh, cooked off some bacon, and then we cooked off some more bacon. Oh yeah, we got two pounds, man. Drop it onto the cutting board and just start cutting away. Just small pieces, excuse me, dude. Excellent. Nice small pieces. Dump that in my mayo. Tasty. Mm. If it were sanitary, I probably wouldn't wash the bacon fat off my hands. What I got over there? Some green crap? Alright. Whatever. Ah. Alright. We got some peppercorns in there. We're going to grind these suckers up. I don't want them super fine. So I want a nice, like, Peppery flavor when you bite into it. I want you to be like, whoa, there's a piece of pepper. Let's crack them up pretty nice. Right now, we're going to be adding the mushrooms into the soup, too. We got the onions and the garlic cooked. Tossing these guys in there. Excellent. So here we got the pepper, just how I want it. Nice, not small, but not big granules. We're dumping that in there. And I'm going to grab a little bit more salt. Add that into there. And kind of mix that up in there. Kind of a dirty looking mayonnaise, but uh, man, Dirtiness in this case just means flavor. Now we're doing kind of a, a crazy tri uh, tryst, twist, whatnot, to the egg wash that we've uh, shown on a couple shows. We're adding chipotle mushrooms that we've uh, blended up. Uh, chipotle peppers, not mushrooms. We got mushrooms going on in the soup. But uh, chipotle peppers, which is actually a smoked jalapeno. We just uh, we've got a can actually. I'll show you what they look like. Chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce. One can of these goes a long way. Beat that up into the egg wash. Add a little more salt. Add a little more pepper. We're gonna drop the chicken breast. First we're gonna drop the chicken breast into the flour to get them coated. Then we're gonna drop them in the egg wash. And then we're gonna be dropping them in the bacon breadcrumb mixture. We uh, cooked off some bacon and then we cooked off some more bacon. Oh yeah, we got two pounds, man. So I've got these chicken breasts here, and uh, I'm trimming off some of this excess fat because that's kind of hard to chew on. It's not a very nice texture to have. What the dude in the robe is doing is he took the chicken breast, go for it, man, dumped it in flour, a key step, this makes everything stick, and he dumped the chicken breast into the chipotle egg wash. Fantastic. 
and into the breadcrumbs with bacon. We got about a 50, 50, maybe, maybe 60, 40, 60% 60 breadcrumbs, 40% bacon. Lots of bacon. And we're tossing that up in there to get it nice and coated. We want a nice thick coating on it. And we're dropping it on a pan just for storage right now. Get back to work real quick. Let me trim off this fat line. And then we're going to be flash frying these kind of, uh, we're not going to deep fry these all the way through. As you can see, these are like the thickest chicken breasts I've ever seen. Now these are bulletproof chicken breasts. I kid you not. But, uh, so we're going to be actually just flash frying those to make the bread crumbs and whatnot stick. Got some tongs for the dude. And of course, we're frying this in bacon fat. Oh, best taste. Oh, nice and golden like that. I'll go ahead and drop this other guy through for him. Now the skinny on this dish is We've got these chicken breasts, right? They're all fried. We've got the breadcrumb and the bacon uh, crust on them. We're frying them in the pan, and what's going to happen is after these babies are fried, we're going <coughs> to excuse me, we're going to dump these in the oven on the pan. We're going to cook them off so we can cook the chicken breasts all the way through. Uh, frying these with this thick of a chicken breast and almost any kind of chicken breast uh, without burning the batter uh, would cause the outside to get all black and unsavory. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them on the pan, cook them through on the oven, and then when they're done. We're going to slice them, thin slices, and we're going to be putting these on the Dude in the Rope sandwich. Uh, fried chicken on the sandwich. It's a phenomenal thing. Uh, once again, his sandwich is going to be comprised of this fried chicken with the chipotle egg wash and the bacon breadcrumb mixture. And the avocado mayonnaise, which is amazing. It's got a nice lime, almost like a, a Caribbean kick to it. It's very nice. And we're going to be serving these with the soup. And he's going to have some, uh, some roasted red onion on there, which are in the oven still going. And actually, those will probably be out in a few seconds. And uh, that's going to be his sandwich. And then uh, we're going to start making it into my sandwich pretty soon. You need to. So I'm running the camera. When I so what I've got here is I've got some smoked turkey. Dump that in the pan. And I've got some oven roasted turkey. I'm going to dump that in the pan. And we're not going to be really like kicking this a lot. We're just going to add some butter to it and get it warm for the sandwich. We got the submersible blender rocking, a little Toastmaster. Uh, what that is, it's just a little blender you can dip in your soups to get stuff pureed up. And what I got going on is I am putting some cheddar cheese down on the tops of my bread. I'm going to be melting this top and bottom of the bread. Extra cheese. Woo! And uh, that's going to be how we're going to keep the sandwich together, essentially. So I'm going to drop these guys in the oven, drop them on a pan, drop them in the oven. So I just took my onions out of the oven. They got a nice little uh, darkness to them. You can get rid of this guy if you want. You can toss it on there. He's kind of dry and tough. So I'm going to get rid of him. Get rid of these outside guys. But the rest are all super juicy. Woo! Well, uh, while we're cooking this mushrooms down in the soup, and I'm going to be cutting up some other stuff, uh, we're going to take a little break. And why don't you guys check out a clip? <laughs> I'm Mark, and I haven't eaten bacon in four years. And tonight on the Punk Rock Chef, especially for you guys, I will profess and eat bacon. Let's give this guy a little little piece of bacon. Four years, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now what we're going to be doing is adding some water to the soup. We've got the mushrooms cooked down to a gray consistency. They've uh, actually put out a lot of moisture, but we're just gonna be adding water to it to make it a soup. Get the mushrooms so they're floating in there. And bring them back to the stove. While he's doing that, I'm gonna finish cutting up the rest of this bread. Yep, got the bread cut, we're all set. Smell bacon. 
Well, hey, I guess we got a little guest here. What's up, sir? What can we do here for? Uh, I can get a BLT or something. Yeah, well, I guess we can get a BLT going. Oh, we got some toast. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, we got a... We got a oh, man. Doing the robe, if you'd be so kind as to hand me some bacon for this uh, hungry gentleman. You know, uh, we're making these really great sandwiches tonight, but there's nothing quite like a, a BLT. Got some bacon. Got a nice slice of tomato. Get two up on in there. Got some lettuce. Some leaf lettuce. And we got a BLT. Want to wrap that up? Send her out to go. Hey man, thanks a lot. Whoa, <laughs> this baby? Woo! All right, like I say here, man, I'm the punk rock chef, changing lives, making bacon. We uh, cooked off some bacon, and then we cooked off some more bacon. Oh yeah, we got two pounds, man. All right, check this one time. We're gonna drop some bacon up on the top of the dude's sandwich. Let's go ahead and crumble it on there. We're gonna get some of that extra love on there. Little love for the dude's sandwich. little love for me. Drop some lettuce on a hot room. Uh huh, yeah, watch mm -hmm. And we're gonna be uh, dropping the top on this sucker head. <laughs> Almost literally. Give her a nice press. Get those flavors moshing in with everything else. And uh, the dude's dropping his hands in some water. I'm gonna be toothpicking this thing. I'm gonna be cutting this like a pizza. So we get a lot of slices out. So go ahead and stake it out at the uh, north, south, east, west points and go in between those. That should do her. And we're gonna want, you're gonna want a nice big knife for this. Probably serrated, maybe not. And just drop it through in the points. Jump a Jesus on a pogo stick, look at these babies come. Drop some more toothpicks in there if it's going unstable on you. Move them up towards the front. <laughs> Acupuncture for your sandwich. All right. <laughs> All right. We're just about ready to plate these suckers up. What I'm going to do is we're going to run the soup out ahead of time since I only have two arms. The do the room has actually three legs, but uh, we'll get into that in another show. We're on the soup out there. Grab a hot pad. And we're ready to rock. Here comes soup, guys. Whoa. Guys, go ahead and just ladle yourselves up. Oh, you already got spoons. What's going on here? All right. I'm going to run back in and grab some sandwiches. Oh, what are you guys watching? Hey, it's the Punk Rock Chef. Punk Rock Chef. Yeah. All right. That's, that's some choice TV. I'm going to throw my sandwich up on this platter. We're going to serve that one on the... Uh... Ooh. You know what? I'm going to serve mine on the cutting board as well. We're going to get old school with this. Fine with me. We're going to grab some paper towels. Grab our sandwiches. <laughs> Do the real one up of me. He's got to do it every show, man. All right, let's go out there and serve the peeps, yo. All right, you guys. We got your sandwiches. We got your turkey oh, sandwich. Wow. Look at that. With the pepper and bacon infused mayonnaise. And bacon all over there. And we got the uh, the bacon fried chicken oh, sandwich. So, you guys, go ahead and dig in. Damn. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys, come on down. We're eating some food. Mm. I bet you get all the chicks. <laughs>
<laughs> You're just one of the first for the job. Although I often find myself being out of the by the I never was good at meeting girls at my school. I never knew <laughs> what to say. But Frank Al says I should try acting natural. I think that sounds pretty gay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab some food now. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to be cooking for the next show. Uh, doing the robe and I will have it covered. It's going to be good. It's going to be punk. So uh, while I'm going to eat, uh, be sure to tune in the next show. And uh, for now, this is the Punk Rock Chef saying let's cook something. Woo!